Hi friends, lockdown is almost over. What next? I'm sure this lockdown has taught us many things. Many people, I mean, I met a lot of these people who are aged 70, 80. I asked them, did you ever had this kind of experience in the past? But everyone said, this is the first time they're experiencing something like this. This is happening for the first time in the history of, you know, this, this generation. I mean, I don't think anyone has gone through similar trauma in the past. Almost 45, 50 days of complete lockdown, first time we've experienced. But then this has taught us many lessons. While we are ready to now embrace the, the post-COVID world, but then we should know, we should use the learnings from this lockdown to ensure that we build our life better so that next time in case if there's a crisis of this kind we should not suffer so i made a list of 10 mistakes you should not commit if you ensure that you don't commit these mistakes you will be able to live a better life in the post covid world so i will share with you those 10 mistakes you should not commit but before that, in case if you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe now and also hit the, be hit the bell icon to enable notifications and share this video with your friends and family. So let's look at those 10 mistakes you should not commit. Number one, as you can see on screen, you should control your spending. You should not be spending excessively on unwanted things. This is what Warren Buffett has, you know, says as well, right? He says, if you start spending on unwanted things, one day you'll have to store, you know, you'll have to sell the things which you need to survive. If you buy things you don't need today, you'll have to sell the things you need to survive tomorrow. So please don't do it. I don't want you to spend on unwanted stuff. You identify the things you should not be doing. Today what happens because we use credit cards, we, you know, have a lot of attractions around us. We go around, we spend, we get into trouble. We get into trap. Please don't do it. That will put you into trouble. Then you will not be able to come out of it. Number two, you should not have too many committed payments. Many people have this problem. Either they have EMIs or subscriptions and most of their money goes in those committed payments. In case if you have committed for a higher rent, you should shift from that higher rental home to a different home. Now if you are currently paying 30,000 rent, move to a house which is available probably for 15,000. Yes, the rent has gone down. You can probably negotiate. Depends on your income. Currently, every rupee you save makes a, you know, a lot of difference. So I want you to save as much as you can. So I want you to completely reduce your committed expenses. The third one is you should not live on borrowed money. Many people have this problem. They are trying to survive on borrowed money because most of the money they earn goes in paying EMIs. In case if your EMI is eating most of your income, I suggest you to sell off some asset you have and clear up as much as you can. And at the same time, I want you to increase your income so that you'll be able to live a you know, independent life. Otherwise, you will continue to borrow to survive. And that's not good. I want you to come out of that as, as quickly as possible. And the next one is, Many people have this habit when this crisis is happening, we end up with spending a lot of money to buy car, bike. Please don't do that. If you really, really, really need it for your profession, your job, your you know, business, then I am okay with it. Otherwise, you should not be wasting your money on bike or car because even that money, you save it for your future because you don't know when things will again change. You may have another crisis of this kind in the future again. And it's good to have it, you know, it's good to save money. Because car, bike, all these are depreciating assets. Don't spend a lot of money on that. And the fifth one, don't spend too much of money on your house. See, I'll tell you a very simple basic thumb rule. If your earning is a lakh rupee a month, you should not spend 10,000 rupee you should not spend more than 10,000 rupees on your car loan EMI. If your income is 1 lakh rupee, you should not spend more than 30,000 rupees on your home loan EMI. This is the basic principle. At the time of buying a house, you ask yourself, 
what is your income if your income is 1 lakh rupee your home loan emi should not cross 30000 rupee if it is crossing 30000 it means there's something wrong you will be into trouble tomorrow because you know the house will not you know really give you that kind of money and this concrete ones you know will depreciate of course if there's a good land value which has a potential to appreciate of course it will appreciate but at the same time the concrete will depreciate so that will cover up or match up you will not really see any real appreciation and the next the sixth one very important one you should not be borrowing too much of money on your house many people i know they will have a side they'll have a property they keep borrowing money from that to pay kid school fees foreign trip that this and they they kind of leverage their housing property or residential property to manage their lavish lifestyle which is bad i want i don't want you to use your home equity like a piggy bank that's that's bad and the seventh one i don't want you to you know live paycheck to paycheck many people have this problem whatever the salary they get they just don't try to save they just spend everything and they wait for the next paycheck which means you will not be able to kind of you know improve your lifestyle i i suggest you to save a big chunk of your monthly income try and cut down on unwanted expenses and the eighth one is not investing many people have this problem they don't invest anywhere either in real estate gold or in you know stocks mutual funds somewhere start investing bank of drd start saving some money for your future because you never know when things will again turn bad so it's good to start investing some money the ninth one i want you to ensure that that you don't take out money from your retirement account or your kids you know whatever you save for your kids future or whatever other money you save for your future in terms of retirement and other things and and spend that to pay pay back your debt if you do it you will be into trap i don't want you to use your future you know your your savings for paying back your debt see this is for your future keep it aside because you may take it out and clear your debt and later if you want to save this money again it's not going to happen it's not easy in case if it is to create an asset it is different but if you have taken some unsecured loan you have spent that money on some trip and travel or luxury and now you are trying to pay it back from your savings tomorrow you will never get to save again because that lifestyle will you know become your practice in case instead if you struggle a bit cut down your unwanted expenses save more pay off your debt that will be good i want to you know really pay attention to it and the 10th one the many people they always talk about hey i want to do well i have big aspirations but then they really don't have any plan having dreams aspiration is different from having a plan to make it happen i want to have a plan i want to have a realistic plan how you can get there so not having a plan is a bad idea and you will not be able to come up so since in this post cold covid world you may have to slog for more time and you never know when this will repeat or whether it will end or will continue we don't know as many people say it may continue for 4 5 years more right so you will have to be prepared i want you to think of how you can be financially healthy so that you can face these uncertainties strongly i want you to pay attention to it and in case if you have not had downloaded financial freedom app please download this app is going to be with you like your friend and make you strong help you face these situations help you face these problems help you face these kind of struggles better i want you to download financial freedom app and this app has got everything you need to get rich i want you to use it effectively and start your journey to become rich i'll be back with another video soon thanks for watching be wise get rich